In today's video, we'll be connecting the Sonoff Basic we flashed in the last video to our 3D printer. Doing so provides a remote access to the 3D printer's power. Using a simple OctoPrint plugin will enable a few features I find useful when using OctoPrint. First, we'll find the Sonoff on the network, then we'll connect to OctoPrint and install the necessary plugin. Finally, we'll connect the Sonoff to OctoPrint using the plugin. It's pretty straightforward and not very difficult. So let's get to it. Connect the Sonoff power to the wall. I have this adapter to convert the power cable to a two prong plug. And we're gonna plug in the 3D printer power. Test it out. Looks like it's working. Back over to my desktop, let's find the IP address of the Sonoff if you don't know it already. There are several ways we can do this. I'm going to check the ARP cache of my PC. To do this, we need to open up a command prompt. As long as the PC you run this command on and the wireless network your Sonoff connects to are on the same network, we should be able to find the Sonoff device. In the command prompt, we're gonna type in ARP-A. This is gonna list out the connected networks. Find the network the Sonoff device should be listed on and copy all of this information. We are going to paste this into Notepad++. Now holding the Alt key on the keyboard, we can highlight just the MAC addresses. And copy this. Go ahead and open up your browser. And we're going to do a search for OUI lookup. Use the first one here for Wireshark. Paste the MAC addresses into the field here and click find. The Sonoff devices will show up as this Express If Ink device. So the MAC I'm looking for is C44F33. Head back over to Notepad++. And I have two of them. C44F33. Pretty sure it's this last one here. You can browse to it to confirm. And there we go. Labeled Sonoff Basic 3D Power. Now that we have the IP address, let's head over to OctoPrint. Inside OctoPrint here, we're gonna go to the wrench settings and then the plugin manager. Go ahead and click on get more. And we're gonna do a search for Tasmoda. We're gonna be using the first one here. The second one uses MQTT and the third one requires additional plugins. So go ahead and click on install on the first one. Once the plugin is done installing, we'll go ahead and click on restart now to finish it out. Now that Octoprint's back up, let's head back into the gear icon for the settings. Scroll down to the bottom for our plugins and we should have a new one called Tasmoda. Go ahead and enable whatever features here that you would like. I'm gonna enable thermal runaway, disconnect, connect and power off on idle. I'm gonna leave all the settings default. Everything looks good. And I'm gonna click the plus button here at the top to add the Sonoff switch. Enter the IP address of the switch. If you're using authentication on your Sonoff, enter it here. I'm gonna enable the options of off on idle and on on connect and thermal runaway. And I'm gonna click verify. Should get this message stating Tasmoda device responded and is configured properly. Go ahead and OK this. Close and save. And uh, all we have to do is test it out. All right, let me get the camera turned on on my printer. And then once I click on connect here, it should uh, fire up the printer. And there it goes. Give it a few seconds here, and then Octoprint should detect the printer as well. And there we go, it's connected. The Tasmodo plugin also adds this icon by the wrench settings in case you want to turn off the printer manually. And you can also use it to turn the printer on manually. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.